this NASH norm of Turkey applied uh, for an investor work permit, Class G. I, I will explain where the, why the work permits are classified. Um, for example, shortly I will demonstrate to you that if you apply for a work permit class G, it means that you are supposed to operate within the country according to our law. Uh, because you can apply for a different class of work permit which enables you to be a regional worker. Like now, the international companies that we have here, the IT companies, IBM and the rest, they get their managers apply for a work permit but they are working in the region. Those who are regional managers, they move around and, and so on. So anyway, this national applied for a class G of a work permit on the 24th of November 2020 under a company called Unit 2 HA Investment Energy Africa. And uh, in the document uh, he provided, he said that he was working in the energy sector. He actually provided the immigration department with a contract uh, purportedly that he had been given to work within the energy sector, which we have since discovered was actually a dummy contract. It wasn't the real contract as it were. Um, then the work permit was uh, issued in June. The process uh, uh, took a bit of time. The work permit was uh, issued in June. Mr. Chairman, with your kind indulgence, I need to explain this. Because we have all been working to ensure that um, as an investment destination, we do well on the World Bank Ease of Doing Business Index. We designed uh, about five years ago, as part of that, a system of issuing work permits. We first of all start with the front desk qualifications, which are prescribed in the Act. and. Secondly, we digitized the entire system so that when we issue work permits, we have all the information within our digital records and everyone we give a work permit, we then follow up as they progress so that uh, we are sure that they are doing what they say they are going to do in the work permit or they are not doing what they are supposed to do. So as for the qualifications that are provided for in the Act, uh, you know, providing a CL12 in terms of the incorporation of the company, uh, you know, filling out the forms he was supposed to fill online, uh, uh, you know, the cover letter that he needed for his activities, uh, the bio data and the national passport, very basic, what I'm calling front desk qualifications. He passed master, we gave him uh, a work permit uh, on the 25th of June, 2021. Uh, of course, because our system is digitized, when we give people work permit, and, and I'm now probably disclosing sensitive information, but we are not the only ones who do that as a government. This is now practice all over the world. Uh, we also are members of the Pisces, so we can trace those who have, everyone who has a work permit to work in this country. When they make a movement, we know. And we can tell you know, what they are, uh, they, they are doing. So after this gentleman was given a work permit, uh, we noticed uh, in tracing his movement on his passport, that um, he was moving around. Uh, he was in Sudan, Goma, Zanzibar, um, Entebbe, and of course, our sister intelligence and security agencies. Because, Mr. Chairman, again, I, I need to let the committee know that as a government, we have signed agreement, security and intelligence information sharing agreement with so many governments. And when people see things, they, they flag up uh, uh, you know, issues or they raise issues. So one of our sister uh, security agents flagged up this uh, uh, gentleman for two reasons. One, they noticed that uh, he had been traveling around the region. And two, they noticed that he was keeping the company of people who are involved in money laundering. One of his associates, in a neighboring country, had actually been arrested in a third country uh, while he was bribing a minister. So when this was flagged to us, we of course uh, also got interested in this person. That is how we uh, tracked his movement. We saw he's in Sudan, he's in Zanzibar, Goma, Uganda, and all that kind of thing. 